Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something really special. Um, it is the 30th anniversary of the Fire Emblem series at the moment and they just released this beautiful Switch Collector's Edition, Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. Now this is, uh, this was never officially released in English, uh, be it either in the US or here in Australia. Um, so they did a very nice, um, well it's a digital release but they did a special edition with a mock uh, NES box cartridge manual, uh, you know, the works. Um, so it's a really cool series, and I thought, you know what, I'd pick this up, and I thought we'd just do a little unboxing video today, because it's really nice to have something new like this uh, from Nintendo. So, as you can see here, it is quite a large box. Um, they sort of have this shape with a few others. They did a lot of 3DS ones in this size with their special editions, but um, yeah, this is a beautiful Switch one. So you've got sort of the 8-bit uh, dragon in the back, which is just fantastic. Um, of course, unfortunately, Australian readings always have to be uh, printed on, so that's a little nice if it wasn't there, but it is, so that's all right. It doesn't ruin it too much. So 30 ands, which is anniversary. Um, yeah, there's a lot of heft to this, a lot of weight. And of course, if you see here, it shows what is included. So the download code for the game itself, the Legacy of Arcana, the Deluxe Art Book, that's probably where the weight's coming from, Shadow and the Blade of Light, Replica Game Pack, including the replica game box, instruction manual, protective sleeve world map, and a mini Nintendo Power retro collectible, which I'm really interested in seeing as well. And there's the insignia on the back there, but all right, let's just open this and see what we've got. Uh, very nice, very easy. Oh, that's different. But yeah, this will be my first uh, impression of it and opinion, and I think that's always makes for a great video. Alright, let's just take that out, make sure there's nothing in that, yep, so we'll set that box aside. Alright, and obviously here we have the art book, which is very nice, now that's just shrink-wrapped. Look at the arcana, wow, that is fantastic. Now this was very well priced, I believe it was $89, which is just a standard Switch game, and yet you got all these special features. Um, and if you weren't able to get one of these and missed out... Um, they do have the digital, it, well it's a digital download within this, but you can also download it from the Switch store. I believe in US it's about $5 and it's $9 here if you just want the game. So, let's, let's open this book and let's have a look. Because this looks quite nice and I would like to see some of the artwork in that. So just remove this real quick. Alright, so that, yeah, that's beautiful, embossed. The gold print, again with the dragons and the insignia on the front. Wow, a lot of effort has gone into this. It's cool if it would be like those older books where the gold was uh, painted on the spine, but that is not the case. And then again, you've got the repetition of the 8-bit uh, dragons, but wow. Gotta love that new book smell as well. So yes, you are treated to a lot of wonderful art. Um, these are magnificent. That's actually really cool. Oh yeah, talking about the uh, trading card game. Oh, so this is obviously a little bit on the basis of all of the Fire Emblem's uh, universe. But again, just a lot more art. Codename Steam, I do remember that game on the uh, 3DS, I believe it was. Um, yeah, these are fantastic. I mean, I've always been into anime. Uh, not so much as I got older, but when I was young, I was really into it. Um, and these were always the sort of characters that you learnt to draw when you started. Wow, all right, yeah, this really does cover every game in the series, which is fantastic. I mean, what a nice addition. Yeah, so sort of the animated series and everything. There's some maps there as well. Oh, and then that's, yeah, that's beautiful. So that's essentially what this is a local release of, what they've done with this. Because uh, this particular original was only released in Japan. So we'll set that book aside for now. Now, I believe this would be... Ah, this is the Nintendo Power. Oh, of course. Okay. So, I don't know if that was an actual uh, issue. We didn't actually get these here. But um, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below. But if not, that's just a mock-up of the poster. And that is really nice. Because I don't believe there was ever a volume 11 and a half. And yeah, it's essentially got... Uh, a little uh, cutout from Nintendo Power. Now that is a full size, so I don't know why. I guess it said mini in the sense that it's just you know, two pages and a poster. But um, yeah, that's really cool. Nesta, I remember him. 
So that's that's really awesome as well. What an excellent addition. Oh, it was actually upside down. My my mistake there. Um, oh wow, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, even the the cast that is in that it is in is fantastic. I'll definitely be putting in one of the, these in one of my protector cases, along with my other NES games. Don't you worry. That is fantastic. NES version, PAL, so that's all correct. The official seal of quality. Uh, there, it's a circle here, as opposed to the uh, the oval uh, for the US releases. Take up your sword and cleave a path to victory. After a hundred long years, the shadow dragon Medeus has reawakened, and the dark pontifex Garnef is ready. Is his dreaded ally? Fight your way across the continent of Arcanea. Recapture Falchion, the stolen blade of the light, and bring the peace to the land. Prince Marth will never complete his quest without your help. That is fantastic. So it's a little plain here. I'm surprised they didn't put a little bit of artwork there, but they do have some screenshots, which is very nice. Um, and this is, yeah, this is very well done. It's very reminiscent of, of an actual NES uh, case. So that's really cool. Um, very nice. I believe it's a little bit thicker than normal. I'm just going to grab one of my actual NES games. <laughs> Just straight off the shelf. So here's just MBL. Um, yeah, okay. So they're not exact. That is quite large as I thought it was. But um, that's still pretty good. Like, that's a really nice likeness. There's generally nothing on the base. Um, but yeah. All right, I'll put that back. All right, let's have a look. Now, there's a lot of weight in this. So the uh, the replica cartridge is obviously quite nice opening this very carefully wow okay now I understand what they meant by the sleeve they mean the actual NES sleeve yeah so that is yep it's got it's got the styrofoam in there so that's kind of reminiscent of the original NES packages that's really cool uh, the game download code itself as I was saying it's not a physical cartridge unfortunately but if you wish to buy this game yourself it's very cheap to download it's only a few dollars um, and that's it's an excellent way for you to play this as well um, Let's see what else we have. So we have a Little beast here a world map. Yep. So we've got a map here Excellent, that's really cool. Ah, yes, and then a character skill rundown Excellent, excellent. There's wonderful sprite graphics Very very cool with that. So that's a nice little uh, addition there and then a full color instruction booklet now that is really nice. That is fantastic. Scoresby, there you go. That's only down the road. So that's really cool. Wow. So all your stats. Yep. Character art. Oh, I cannot wait to give this a spin. I cannot wait to play this. Wow, that is fantastic. Beautiful. So yeah, it's got the traditional everything. The seal of quality at the front. They've really gone all out for this. I, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't charge more. They could have charged, you know, anywhere up to like $150. Wow, that is the most beautiful and clean sleeve I've ever seen for any of my NES games. This is magnificent. I mean, it's clear, but... Oh, try not to uh, put too many marks on it, but that is that is beautiful. Look at that. So they've laser etched sort of the design of a NES cartridge, obviously. And then, yeah, I mean, there is a bit of a mark on that, which is... a yeah, there is a scratch on that, which is very unfortunate. Um, you can't actually... Obviously, you don't know what you're buying when you get it, but um, that is a bit of a shame. I apologise. I am quite warm all over this. Um, but yeah, this is... That's really nice. It's got the side cutoffs, just like the NES. I mean, that isn't cut in, but... Yeah, that is incredible. And that alone, that's just beautiful. It's nice to say, oh, I got a brand new Nintendo sleeve in 2020. So yeah, that... That's, that is really nice. That is fantastic. I'm really impressed with that. So I'm just going to put this over here and we'll just quickly recap everything that was in this. So you've got the game itself and that is quite weighty. So that is quite nice. So the download code, the map, uh, and then the full color manual, which is excellent. Uh, the beautiful box art, which is very nice as well. So we'll just put that there for now. 
Um, and then you had the uh, Nintendo Power poster. I guess we'll just uh, we'll just say that's what that was. And then of course the uh, the beautiful art book. So that was really nice as well. I mean, gosh, this isn't even in frame really. But essentially, that's just yeah. It was just a small unboxing, just to give you my first general honest impression. Uh, I was very happy to get this. Again, that is just so beautiful. I'm very very happy with that. Um, and this will definitely go on display in my immense uh, Nintendo collection. Uh, by all means, have a look at my Nintendo videos if you wanted to see my collection. Um, there's something there for everyone if you're a Nintendo fan. And yeah, I guess I guess that's it. I guess we might uh, just leave it at that. So I do believe these are sold out. Um, they sold out here within a day. Um, so I would imagine they're quite most likely sold out worldwide at the moment. Um, but if you were still trying to get one, I guess you could try eBay, but it's generally just scalpers and that's not very fun. But yeah, I guess we'll leave it at there. So thank you so much for watching. I thought this was really enjoyable and I hope you liked it as well. Thank you for subscribing and it really helps my channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.